Okay, just to give you a starting place on Canon and D in third position, um, because the studies we did before didn't use lower range notes for third position, but you can do that. Typically you would play it maybe here in the E string in first position. For violin, uh, for viola or for cello, or even bass, you would start at F sharp on the D string. Make sure it's C sharp. And you can stay all in first position, but it also works in upper position. So for violin, let's do that one first. So instead of playing here in first, find F sharp in third position. So I'm going to go to the A string. And here's my F sharp. It's third finger. All right. And you just kind of come down the scale. Now the C sharp is on the next string with a fourth finger. And so there it is, the opening of canon in third position. See how much more of that you can play in third. Now, for the viola, for the cello, or for the bass, like I say, normally you might think about playing it in first position. And that works, but you can also go into third position as well. You have, or For you guys, for cello players, it's in fourth position. Okay, and you would start here. You have to scoot back for the C sharp a little bit. For viola players, you can also go in third position. Same idea, and it works for you the same way. right there and then follow the range of the notes as they go down onto your C string to get those. You'll be surprised what will come out. Basses you're just going to start up in fifth position. Okay so you'll find that note way 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 up on the A string in fifth position and start there and see how much of it you can do in that area. Alright have fun.